it's time to shade some Hoyas. Hello, this is Miro and welcome to my channel. Now, you all know that I like to talk about Hoyas a bit, a bit here and there, a bit. I have not been told that I have a Hoya issue. Today, I would like to talk about a very original thing that no other channel has ever done. I would like to talk about 10 Hoyas that I think are overpriced. I'm just joking. I do know this is not original idea. I know that all the channels do these lists, overpriced houseplants, overpriced aeroids, whatever. I thought I would do one for Hoyas, specifically for Hoyas, because I do not have a Hoya issue. As all things on YouTube, none of these are actually an original idea, but today I wanted to bring you my version of it, and let's talk about those very expensive Hoyas. Am I being shady? Well, are some of these Hoyas overpriced? Some of the Hoyas on this list I also like, but all of the Hoyas on this list are way overpriced. There are some Hoyas on the list that I don't really like, and I don't think I would have them even if they were gifted to me. Sorry. We will talk about the prices, because I think this could be interesting to look back in 2021 and to see if the prices have increased or decreased. Now, I'm just gonna go out on a limb here. I think the prices will increase. You may or may not agree with this list. You may like some of these Hoyas. You may not think these Hoyas are very expensive. I don't know, you may be rich. Maybe they're not expensive for you. I certainly do think they are very expensive and not worth the price tag. Also, another fun thing that we will do after the list is we will take a look at other things that you can buy for that money. First toy on the list is Hoya Carnosa Nova Ghost. Yes, ghosts enter the video right away. Now, I know there are philodendrons that vary the ghost moniker and they are also very expensive. And of course, the same thing goes for Hoyas. I think just ghosts are pricey. Must be because they are invisible. I don't know. Let's talk about this Hoya. I found on the internet that Hoya Carnosa Nova Ghost is actually a green form of Hoya Carnosa Argentia Princess. That one is coming up too. Just a bit of a spoiler. I don't know why they call it a green form because it's rather silver if my eyes are not deceiving me, but I did notice that some of them can have reverse spotting, so kind of a green spotting on the silver leaf. You will see that the price tag on this Hoya is very reasonable and quite worth it. So I found on the internet it's anywhere from two to 300 euros. I do believe that you cannot purchase this Hoya now for that price. I do believe the price will go up and that is just per one node with two leaves. Now, I imagine if you were to get a bigger plant, you would pay the double. That's kind of how it goes. The more nodes, the more money you have to give. And if you, if you think that 300 euros is not enough money to give, buy a bigger plant. I mean, 300 euros for this. Okay, let's move on. Did I or did I not say that Argentia is coming up? The second Hoya on the list is Hoya Carnosa Argentia. Now this one is being sold as Hoya Carnosa CV Argentia, Hoya Carnosa Argentia, Hoya Carnosa CV Argentia, uh, Picta. Can you agree that it's Hoya Carnosa Argentia? This Hoya was a bit of a rage last year, and actually this year I could not find the price for this Hoya. It was listed before on several websites that, they, that sell Hoyas, and the price for one node with two leaves was around 300 euros. So I will put that price here, but that is 2019 price and 2020 has been a bit different than 2019 if no one noticed. So I do believe that this Hoya may surface again next year. Will the price remain 300 euros? I don't really know. To get Hoya Carnosa Argentia is you take a photo of Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen, you import it into Photoshop or VSCO Cam, you slap a grayscale filter on it and call it a day. You're welcome, I saved you 300 euros. You can send the money my way. I appreciate it. Moving on. The next way on the list is Hoya Compacta Jody Silver. I saw that some people spell this J-O-D-I-E or J-O-D-Y. Interesting, you didn't agree on the spelling of Jody, but you agreed on the price. How peculiar. Hoya Compacta is really not one of my favorite Hoyas. A bit of a secret, I kind of think I'm gonna get rid of mine, sell it, gift it, trade it, 
It's not my favorite Hoya. The leaves are just like, what, 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 what's going on? What's, what's that? Also a good hiding place for mealybugs. And if you get the silver version, you're just, you're dooming yourself. You're gonna burn that money. I don't know. In my opinion, it's not worth it. I do realize how a compacta is a slow grower. Silver version will grow even slower. I don't question that it might be beautiful for some people. We all like different things. There are some hoyas that I find very beautiful and some people find utterly disgusting. That's perfectly fine. But we are talking about hoyas that I believe are overpriced and I'm just gonna add this one to the list. And the price for a very tiny cutting is, Jesus Christ three to six hundred euros. It will depend when you look for it and where you look for it. Now, I do have to say some places that sold this Hoya in 2019 for 300 euros no longer have it. I did see several places this year selling it for 600 euros, so I do think in 2021 we will see a bit more of a price hike. It will be fun to wait for that year, right? It's fun. Another Hoya on the list? Hoya Carnosa Argantia Princess. What? Another Carnosa? Yes, because for some reason, Carnosas, when they get that silver, are extremely overpriced. Good Lord, help us if other unusual Hoyas get that silver on the leaf. We will be paying through the roof. Actually, I won't because I don't have any of these, so. Hoya Carnosa Argantia Princess is basically, as I said, you take a photo of Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess, slap a grayscale, and there you go. But this time you will be saving more money if you do that because Hoya Carnosa Argantia Princess is anywhere from 700 to 1,000 euros for one note. It's very affordable, don't you think so? I don't know if it's because of all these prices, but it's getting very hot here. I can think of many things to do for 1,000 euros and none of them include buying Hoya Carnosa Argantia Princess, none. Next Hoya is Hoya Carnosa Grey Ghost. I do believe this is the last of the Carnosas. I think there might be one more. This Hoya is a perfect example of how prices from one year to the next year jump a bit and then they jump all the way up to the sky. When I was looking into Hoya Carnosa Grey Ghost a couple of years back, it was around 30 euros, I believe, for one cutting. This year, Hoya Carnosa Grey Ghost was anywhere between 70 euros and higher. I saw many different prices. I saw them being sold for 100 euros, 200 euros, even up to 500 if it's a bigger plant. I would say that the average price is somewhere between 40 and 100 euros. I still hope that you can find it somewhere where there is a person with a good heart for 30 or 40 euros, but I really doubt it. I think you're looking closer to 100 mark, 100 euro mark, and over that. I really don't know what's up with the gray leaves. I don't care if it's a gray leaf, it's a gold leaf. I don't care if it produces diamonds on the leaf. Well, in that case, I actually do care because I would be able to grow diamonds and harvest them and become a billionaire. I should... I should patent that Hoya. I will call it Hoya Diamond. I bet there is a name like that. The next Hoya, I think it's not worth the money, is Hoya AH074. There are two variants of this Hoya. There is Clone 1 and Clone 2. I think there might be more. They might change the name. I really did not look into this Hoya because that's how much I care about it. I do think it's a seedling that came from a cross between Carnosa and Pupacalyx. Once again, not sure if that's true. Maybe it's just a plain Carnosa. It, it is a bit interesting. There is that silver again with a bit of green on the leaf. I just, I don't really, I'm past the, I don't even know how to vocalize this. It's too damn expensive. That's how I, I, I will vocalize this. A cutting will be anywhere from 70 to 200 euros, depending on the size of the plant. I believe 70 is just for one node. That price may very well increase over the time. This way is getting a bit more exposure now. So as with all things that get exposure, you know what happens next. 
not a Hoya that I would love to own. I certainly think it's pretty. Uh, it's not pretty enough for me to buy it. I think there are many more beautiful Hoyas, many more interesting Hoyas out there that I would rather buy or have than this Hoya. But that's just my opinion. And opinions are, well, you know, like what? Everyone has them. It's not a nose. I was actually lying. Um, we have another Carnosa. I think this is just Hoya Carnosa hate list. It's not that I hate Hoya Carnosa. It's just that they will not bloom for you very quickly. And all these silver Hoya Carnosas, first, they are overpriced. Second, when people get them, they tend to panic, put them in cabinets and stuff. This is not shade. It's just a simple fact. You know, it's Hoya Carnosa. You do not need to put it in a cabinet. Just give it a good light and it will grow. If it's one with silver, if it's one with splash, give it a decent amount of light, preferably a go what, what was that word? That was supposed to be preferably. Preferably a grow light, and then it will be able to maintain that silver the splash. I think it's just due to the light. Anyways, my opinion here doesn't really matter. People panic about rooting these. Again, it's just a carnosa, not that difficult to root, not that difficult to grow. If it's silver, it will probably glow. glow. Where are the words? Grow slower. But that's about it. Anyways, Hoya Carnosa Wilbur Graves. I do have a Hoya Carnosa with splashes on the leaves. I do not believe it's Silver Graves. I don't think you can get a Hoya Carnosa with splash on the leaves and just call it Silver Graves. It has to be from the specific clone. Anyways, I'm gonna show you mine for the sake of showing some plants. It's quite small. It's in semi-hydro, so the water is falling out. Anyways, you can see the silver splash on the leaf. This leaf grew in my care, and these two leaves. These two leaves grow, grew after a very vicious spider mite attack. Red spider mites, they are a thing, not a pleasant thing. This leaf grew in higher light, these two grew in less light. I did move it now to higher light again to see what will happen. It doesn't grow super fast for me, you probably saw it before, it was pretty much the same size. The reason it doesn't grow fast for me is because I don't really care for it. I let it dry out, I didn't treat it on time for spider mites, I abuse it. Um, sorry, that's all I can say. I see people selling different things as Wilbur Graves, some have less splash, some, some have no splash, and they call it Wilbur Graves. Let's not unpack that. Prices also do vary quite a lot. Again, before, this Hoya could be found for 30, 40 euros. Now the price is from 100 to 300 euros. I mean, splash is very nice, but cash is nicer. So let's go to the next one. The next Hoya on the list is something that I would like to have, and I would love to grow it. I think it looks beautiful for several different reasons. First of those is it's not, it's not a Carnosa, only that makes it more special. I do have another Hoya on the list, I will show it later, but this Hoya is Hoya Nicolsoni New Guinea Ghost. Basically, it's a silver Hoya Nicolsoni. I do think it's more interesting that all of these silver Hoya Carnosas, because it has that veining on the leaf that's kind of visible, just that makes it more special to me. It is quite expensive. The price skyrocketed this year. It You could find it, I think I found a listing before for 40 euros, and it wasn't a small plant, it was a decent cutting for 40 euros. Now it costs much more. I think this Hoya is now anywhere from 100 to 300 euros. The price will probably increase once again. It will depend on the size of the plant. I will not get it for that money. I would even consider 40 euros. I would carefully consider that, but 100? No, no, I refuse. Another Hoya is Hoya Undulata. I do have Hoya Undulata, you saw it in one of my previous videos. It took 40 days to arrive to me. It did lose one leaf. I think uh, when I was unboxing, it lost one leaf. It has two nodes. It seems to me that growth points are activating on both of those. Can you see it? Can you see it? I have no idea if you can see that. It has very nice big leaves with splash on them. It's very different from all the Hoyas on this list. When I purchased this, I think it was in May of 2020, 
and it was a cutting with two nodes. One node didn't have leaves, or actually maybe the leaf fell from that. So it was a two node cutting with three leaves. And I'm not gonna tell you the price, how much I paid for it, but I will tell you that I saw a cutting with one node and one leaf go for double of what I paid for this one. And the prices for this where I go now, anywhere from 100 to 200 euros, depending on the size. I actually saw one for 300 euros that was a bit bigger, which is crazy. I paid nowhere near, <laughs> nowhere near for the, no, I did, I just wouldn't, I would never. And the last Hoya on this list is Hoya Kentiana Lori Lynn. Do you know what I wrote in the notes for this Hoya? I just don't get it. It's it's pretty, okay? There is a Kentiana with inner yellow uh, on the leaf. This one has variegated outer margin. One note is 70 euros. That's a lot. People tell me that Hoyas are not expensive as aeroids, but take Hoya Kentiana Lorelin, for example. Two leaves, one note is 70 euros. When you get Hoya with one note and two leaves, there is very little to work with there. If your aeroid loses the leaves, you will have the stump. You could possibly cut it a bit more if it starts to rot. With Hoyas, the, it's very stingy usually the cutting, so there is really not much to save there. And when it starts to rot, it's usually beyond what you can see. When you start to cut it, you will see there is no more sap coming, and that's a bad sign, so you always need to have sap coming. If you are to save a cutting, and you know, when you get one node, very little of the stem there, so you're very likely to fail if, if something starts to happen, something bad starts to happen there. So 70 euros for one node, two leaves, it's a bit too much in my opinion. I don't think it's worth it. It's, it's a nice Hoya. I would personally buy it for 15 euros. I don't know why I'm giving the, <laughs> the suggestions as if anyone is gonna, oh, that's a great suggestion. Yes, I will sell it for 15 euros now. No one will take the suggestion, I know. I don't care, no one cares. But there's very little to work with there. Now, let's move on to honorable mentions. First, honorable mention is a Hoy that I couldn't find a photo of. It's Hoya Sigilatis Silver. Maybe this is something new, so that's why I couldn't see it. Maybe it's not in circulation yet, but I did see that plan price is 300 euros. Now, I do have Hoya Sigilatis, for me, that's enough silver. I, I'm just, I'm happy with the amount of silver on this one, so I will keep my 300 euros. Now that you have them, sorry, correction, 250 euros. Ah, 50 for shipping, whatever. The next Hoya is Hoya Species Central Clementon from Borneo. That one is 150 euros. It's very beautiful Hoya. It kind of reminds me of Hoya Clemenciorum, but it, the leaf is not so narrow and long, the leaf is more rounded, and it has the prominent veining on the leaf, similar to Hoya Clemenciorum, but the price is different. Hoya Clemenciorum is not a cheap Hoya by any means, but this one costs 150 euros for one node, one leaf. Now this one is seriously a Hoya that I do not understand, it's Hoya Mathild Splash. I saw it going from 100 euros and more, Hoya Mathild is quite uh, an easy Hoya to find in Europe. It does have a bit of splash, not a lot. I admit the Hoya that I saw was with a lot of splash. It's nice, but Hoya Mathild is, you know, a big part of Hoya Mathild in Europe is 15, 20 euros, probably even less if you live in Netherlands. The last two Hoyas that get honorable mentions are Hoyas that are quite easy to find, I think, in Europe, and they are very pricey in the United States. I know they cost around $100 for cuttings. Those are Hoya Serpents and Hoya Linearis. Hoya Serpents is by no means an easy Hoya to keep alive. I have mine in semi-hydro and it's recovering. It did not like spider mites. It did not like the heat. There are very... It likes small amount of things. Hoya Linearis is not a difficult Hoya to keep. It's quite cheap in Europe. You can get a nice big sized pot of Hoya Linearis. I do think they will become more available in the US, so just save your money for a bit. Now it's time to add up all the prices. 
you did see that some of the horse have kind of a price range. So what I did there is I took the average price, added it, so all 10 Hoyas will come into this calculation. When you add all 10 of them, you get 2,655 euros. Yes, I was right on that. That's a lot of money for 10 Hoyas, for 10 cuttings of Hoyas. Just a disclaimer, if you took 2,655 euros and tried to purchase these Hoyas, I believe you wouldn't be able to. I think they will go, many of them will go for a much higher price now. Let's just see what we can do with 2,655 euros. So I looked at things that are around 3,000 euros or less than 3,000 euros. Some of them are ridiculous, but is it ridiculous to spend that amount of money on plants? I don't know. If you are a gamer, you could buy a very good gaming PC with a good graphics card, with a good processor, perhaps even a good screen. You're welcome. If you have money to burn, you can buy overpriced flagship phone with matching overpriced Bluetooth headset. A useful thing, you can you can buy a used car, if that's your thing. I, I don't drive, I never tried, just not my thing. You could buy a very good camera and not use your phone to record videos. You could buy a baby grand piano. I admit, I, I would like a baby grand. I don't know where it would fit, but I would like a baby grand piano. Once again, if you have all that money, you could buy an actual silver tiara with diamonds and rubies and just be royalty in your own home. A tiara is a great... Why, do, why don't you buy a tiara? It's also silver. Now, a bit of a serious thing. You could buy three months worth of groceries for a family of four in the United States and that is without budgeting. I looked at the prices, don't tell me you cannot. That's a lot of money. You could pay one month's rent in New York City. And we know that New York City is very affordable, right? The most affordable city in the world. Due to recent events, you could buy more than 6,000 rolls of toilet paper. I don't know what you're gonna do with that, honestly. Just buy normal amounts. Or you can take all that money, put it in your bank account and save it for the zombie apocalypse. This has been How to Save Your Money with Miro. Enough of the silly things. I hope that the video made you laugh. Again, this is just a light-hearted video. Even though plant prices are not something, the new plant prices, the plant prices that you are seeing, that we will see, are not something that I take very lightly. It's a very serious topic and possibly something that we will discuss more seriously one time in the future. Who knows? I just wanted to make a lighthearted video to end this marvelous year of 2020, which has been so good. Let's forget it and move on to 2021. I'm actually interested to know what would you do with 3,000 euros? What would you buy? It can be plants. You can say all of these 10 Hoyas. I'm not going to judge you. I don't judge people. Well. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. You can leave a comment below. You can say something about the prices. You can say whatever you like in the comment below, as long as you are nice. I also have a Patreon page and the link to that will be in the description. I hope you're having a wonderful time. I hope you're enjoying the holidays, this time off, if you have time off, and I hope you're spending them in the way in which you wish to spend them. That's a very long way to say Happy New Year. Bye. I would like to take a moment to thank all of my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me throughout the year. I am infinitely grateful. A big shout out to my $5 patrons, Betsy Begonia, Bonnie Harris, Kathy L, Melissa Walker, Nicole Ferranti, Vicky Dingler, and my one anonymous patron. Also, a big thank you to my $3 patrons, Becca Panyard, In a Home, Ivana, and Nikki. And another shout out to my $1 patron, who is anonymous. Thank you all so much for your support. I hope you loved the videos, and I will see you very soon in another year.